you have receptors. Your eyes are receptors. Your ears are receptors, like a cell. Your nose is a receptor. Your tongue is a receptor. Your whole surface of your body is receptors that's picking up information. And normally, the information we pick up is based on light and matter. Are you with me still? Light bouncing off things and creating images for us to perceive. When energy finally makes it to the fourth center, I, I just was on the phone with the researchers from HeartMath Institute on the drive over here. They were so sweet. They called me to thank me for all the great work that we have done as a community. And we had this conversation about the benefits of what could happen when energy finally makes it to the heart. And every time it makes it to the heart, some of it, majority of it, continues all the way up to the brain. Because the heart is an amplifier once it's activated to activate the brain. Are you with me still? Now, if you were to take away all my other systems, my musculoskeletal system, my lymphatic system, <clears throat> my digestive system, my skin system, integumentary system, and just left my nervous system, I would look like a cotton candy man called Joe Dispenza. Are you with me still? And you have these big trunks of nerves that come out that go to your limbs, at, at, the, at your neck, and down your legs. And as energy moves up, it's passing through each one of those spinal nerves. Yes or no? And when, as, it, as it moves up and it enters the fifth center, it's going to go right down your hands. And you are going to feel energy coming out of your hands. You're going to feel this when we do the healing, and your body is getting ready to heal someone. Because the more love you feel, the more you can give energy. And these are the things we use to give with and to do with. Are you with me still? So then once energy makes it here, so many people have said, oh, my head kind of locks back, and oh, I feel this kind of intense pleasure in my chest. And then I feel this electricity coming out of my hands. And people with spinal cord injuries to the neck, and people with disc herniations in their neck, people with uh, whiplash and all kinds of injuries or severed nerves, it's happened where that energy reconstructs neurological tissue because the faster frequency is being facilitated through the nervous system because they're at a greater level of consciousness. And don't you know every time you tune into that energy and become conscious of that energy, your nervous system is beginning to facilitate a greater frequency because that's where your attention is. And if you connect with it and stay present with it and surrender to it and experience it, it's going to naturally move. Are you with me still? Come on. So then, as this center becomes active, your sensory receptors, check it out, are not picking up material things with your pressure and two-point discrimination and temperature. It's picking up an electrical current. It's picking up a frequency that your hand is actually emitting and you're paying attention to it and it's something unknown or unusual. Yes or no? And if you can stay present with it and experience it, the experience is changing your brain so you can perceive more of it the next time it happens. Are you with me still? And so when it comes time to heal, and this center is open, the center of oneness, the center of wholeness, and you can get beyond yourself and connect to that unified field and open your heart and put your attention behind your hands or beyond your hands, if you actually have already been feeling that energy, the moment you put your attention on it, it's going to amplify even more because what you put your attention on expands. You put your attention on your pain, it gets bigger. Take your attention off it, it goes away. You put your attention on the field, it expands. You take your attention off it, it goes away. Your attention brings things to life. Would you agree? So now imagine a person who's having a change in their energy and their heart is opening, and once their heart opens and they feel it, and they feel the physical change because oxytocin is signaling nitric oxide and you're all these all these chemicals are expanding.
expanding the arteries in your heart and lungs, you're actually feeling something like your heart is full. And then when you feel your heart full, what do you do next? You pay attention to that feeling and it causes it to swell even more. And if those emotions then tend to drive thoughts equal to your emotional state, or better said, the frequency of this center can carry the thoughts of a more unlimited mind, a giver, someone who's more selfless, who's in more in the present moment, then the side effect of that is that you should be able to do the uncommon and the supernatural.